Hello campers, Neil from African Campsite Reviews. Welcome to Onrus River Caravan Park in Hermanus area. That's the entrance, reception, little shop, kiosk, first bunch of a uh, block of restrooms. As you enter the site splits in two directions, one to the right, one to the left. We'll follow the numbers, start in the right, going from number 3 to 141 and then to the left 141 to 300. So quite a big site, of course, famous, very sought after campsite. We'll just take a walk through, it won't take too long, it's a commercial campsite, so there's not too many considerations. Uh, first things first, north is that way, so ocean is behind all of those milkwoods. On this side, almost all the sites to the right is permanent site, so you can choose from the ones to the left. Ample taps, about a tap for every two sites, so you don't need any particularly long hoses or anything. Uh, power points on all the sites. And what's nice is um, the ocean is right, literally right behind you, 10 meters from your site. So starting from number one, all the way to the left, we're already at site number eight. Uh, I'll focus on the sites to the left because the right ones is mostly permanent sites. Almost all the sites are nicely covered in shade with milkwood trees. So shade is lovely. Most of it covered on lawn. Of course, the shaded areas right under trees are not. So still make sure you bring your ground sheet, but uh, really, really well maintained campsite. I've been camping here since I was a child and it's always great fun, very well maintained. Neat restrooms and showers, toilets and everything. Site number 18 to the left. Personally, I prefer the sites as you come into the campsite on the left, starting from 141 up to 300. A uh, few reasons for that. Number one is as we walk down this pass or pass uh, road, sorry, you'll see there's Davies Pool, which is a famous swimming place for kids. It's a tidal pool, which the Caravan Park has direct access to. So you've got a lot of people running up and down this road in peak season. So this is, I would say, the busier part of the park. Um, I prefer sites which are a bit more private and remote or, you know, not as busy. So uh, I prefer the other side, but I guess it really depends on what your needs are. If you have kids, you'd probably want to stay this side because Davies Pool is around the corner. The kids can do safe swimming in the tidal pool and uh, yeah, it's, I guess it all depends on what your needs are. Now number 46 to the left. If there's a specific site you'd like to review, I'll put chapters in the video and you can just skip to whatever section it is. Hi, good afternoon. Whatever section it is that you'd like to uh, have a look at, if you have a specific site in mind, or if you just want to do a general overview, you can just adjust the speed at which this video plays and it uh, should speed it up a bit and you can stop it at a, at a given point. So next set of ablutions to the right. This side of the park is quite busy, although this is a Sunday afternoon, so quite busy is relative, but there's some people in there, I'm sure, so I'll see if I can get into the other side of the ablutions which is much quieter that side of the park today and uh, give you an insight into what the ablutions look like. Here you can see the ocean right behind the campsites and as I said this is a 
entire single lane of campsites down this road. So each and every site almost has got direct access to the ocean. Take you for a quick look at Davies Pool, tidal pool I mentioned earlier. So site number 74 to our left. Site number 76 right by Davies Pool. Personally it wouldn't be my favorite because you can have all this foot traffic passing right by your campsite. And that is Davies Pool. So there's a big tidal pool back there, loads of swimming happening, fishing. Of course, Hermanus traditionally has always been famous for fishing. A lot of the oceans has been, uh, let's take a shortcut through here, a lot of the oceans has been overfished, but I believe a skilled fisherman can still find a good catch. Okay, so the private sites have ended to the right. Now there's a couple of sites here. If you're looking for more sun, this is number 65, 67. Not as shaded in the Milkwoods. This is 80A and 82. 71. 84, 86. So most of these ones down here, I'd say from 80, um, actually from about 70 up to about 90 97 to be exact at the end of this pass, uh, road are less covered by the milkwoods and offer more sun so if you are going to be camping in the winter or something like that then this is probably the sites I choose because you're going to have a bit more sun the one thing I would be mindful of that behind that fence is a public road there's a beach at the end of it that road in season is going to be busy. So site number 96, 97, 98 and 85 and actually even 83 I would avoid just so you stay away from all the traffic coming down there. Okay so that's a brief overview of sites 3 to 141. I'll go back to the start and we'll do a walkthrough of 141 to 300 which as I mentioned earlier is my favorite site and then we can take it from there. Okay guys so we're back at the entrance reviewing sites 141 to 300 as I mentioned there's a little kiosk here to the left basic supplies, some wood, cold drinks, ice creams, things like that. Okay, so once again, I'll mention some numbers as we go along for navigational purposes. Side 147 to your right. On the left hand side here, there are no permanent campsites, which is nice. I find it to be quieter. Um, maybe the reason for that is that it's not close to Davies Pool, but uh, I prefer the quiet and less people. Of course, if you come here in peak season, keep in mind this, is, this entire campsite is going to be packed, so it doesn't really make a difference then. In terms of wind, Hermanus doesn't really get exceptionally strong winds like the western coast, the west coast campsites. So wind is not as much as a concern here, but most of the wind comes from the east, which is up this road. In other words, it comes this way. Um, and yeah, there is another passage through to the ocean. All of these sites have that. Site 177 to the left, to the right, sorry. As I mentioned, taps pretty much everywhere. Just make sure you bring your fittings. If you want to fill your camper van with a hose, there's no fittings provided. 
It's a normal half inch copper fitting. And power, power points, especially on sites three to 141 is ample. On this side, it's a little bit less, uh, but not a whole lot less. I'll review a few of my best sites at the end, which personally I prefer. And uh, yeah, then we can take it from there. So here's an example of why I'm saying power points are few and far in between. There's a couple of campsites here. There's 240, there's 251. Um, yeah, the couple of them here, I'd say about maybe five or six, and there's only one power box. So make sure if you're going to be camping at this end of the campsite that you have very long extension cords because you will be needing at this side of the campsite. Let's go into these ablutions. They should be less busy and I can give you a brief overview of what they look like. So we'll have a quick look at the men's toilets. As I mentioned, really neat. You can see everything really well maintained and really nice and neat. Okay, then there's a few campsites I prefer. They, some of them do not have power though, so keep in mind I'll point them out. Everything we've reviewed to date in terms of numbers has power, but there's a couple of ones which are particularly interesting to me, um, which does not have power, which I'll do at the end of this video, because those are the ones I think are really special if you have solar power, especially the off-grid campers. Those are the sites you'd want to be at. Before we go and do that though, this is the other side of the fence. So similar to the first side, that is the road that goes to the main beach, exceptionally busy. So sites 226, sites 230, and let's see if we can get a number on this last one, 252 are sites that are right on that road, and I would not recommend that at all, you are going to be in massive, to ride up against massive tra traffic in peak season. Okay, then we'll do a quick fast forward and I'll do the last few sites, which I personally think are the best. Okay, so this is where you enter. If you come in the campsite, you turn left. This is the main road we just did. These sites up here does not have power but in my mind is amazing and I'll show you why. I'll call out numbers as we go along. 187, nice and shaded. 230A, nice under the milkwoods. 189, small site, probably perfect for a little tent. You can snuggle up right here, right in the middle of the milkwoods. Two one four and one nine one. Also nice and private, made for smaller vans or tents. Really nice. One nine one. Right up against the fence, against the water. One nine one a. Uninterrupted water views. And then my personal favourite, a little secret one, I believe which is exceptional. You won't be able to get in here with a big van, big camper van or caravan. But if you have something smaller and you have solar power, this is my absolute favorite site. Totally private, totally secluded. It's site number 216. And all of this is one campsite. 
absolutely stunning there's your water tap as i mentioned again you will not have power so bring your solar power gear but geez man nice and private good sun and there's the water thank you guys please like subscribe keep in touch with videos as we post them any questions as always comment share and uh, i'll put all the links of the booking site and everything on the description please have a look at that and happy camping